And did you know <laughs> that Gloria is a good wife and is stuck with Frank Coos of D. John Suck em Up Carpet Cleaning, even during the years when Frank was just starting out in the carpet cleaning business, could only do about 60 strokes a minute with his wand and mm -hmm. carpet cleaning. Mm -hmm. And it was before he went into the basement and took a sabbatical and invented the RX Hydromaster 20. That does 462 and a third strokes a minute. All you do is plug it in. And Frank Coos and the boys say, tie down the cat and the billy goat so they could get sucked <laughs> in. If you really want true carpet cleaning from which the Which I want, which I want. Right. I uh, need that. We've got the RX-20 Hydromaster system. And okay. the RX-20 Hydromaster system will completely clean and restore matted fibers to a light new appearance, simultaneously remove all bacteria-laden soil, and will completely gobble up your kitty cat. So... <laughs> <laughs> so keep the stupid cat in the garage. <laughs> That's D. Johns. Call Frank Coos, our good friends, and he would love to be yours. 524-8650. Repeat that. 524-8650. Up Radio 1300. <laughs> Gary is dancing. Oh. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where the rhythm is here. Well, he's doing circulation. that. Three, he's getting that three stooges shuffle. That's well, not quite it, Gary. Sitting for two hours. <laughs> yeah, that's a right. Day. I go out and walk every day. Oh, and do today, you? Usually, I go to the Minter Mall mm -hmm. and walk inside. But they're so beautiful. I walked out to the East Lake Break Wall. That's good. The guys were catching some fish. <laughs> Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, the mayor wasn't there to collect his three bucks for out-of-towners. <laughs> Hello there. Is this Annie? Gary D. Welcome. Yep. W-E-R-E -E Talk Radio. <laughs> You're sure living up this program. Uh, do your children still speak a fluently uh, Slovenian? And do you remember the teacher's uh, name? God bless. Yes, Maria. Oh. Uh, raised Allison and Jeremiah when Mama and I were at work or fighting. <laughs> it was Maria taking care of the kids. And a beautiful lady, beautiful lady. So your kids spoke Slovenia? Right. Where did they and, use and let, me, let me tell you something. Where did they use it? And we laugh book? about it now, but Liz was fit to be tied at this time. And, you know, uh, religion and this, that, and you know, I don't know when to get into that. But uh, Maria was our nanny uh, while Liz was on TV and I was out. Oh, doing whatever I, I thought doing. She was Slovenian. A Slovenian lady, and she couldn't mm -hmm. speak any English. And the first words that Allison and Jeremy, uh, Jeremy said were Slovenian. Da-da or whatever. I can't... Da-da, uh, that's uh, not Slovenian. Well, whatever. <laughs> oh, you'd <laughs> say that, Gary. But, uh, All them five children, you were never there when they said they spoke first words? Uh, well, yeah, I was there. <laughs> there. told you that that was <laughs> Slovenian they were speaking? Randy's first words, get me a bail box. <laughs> but... Marilyn, welcome to WEIE Talk Radio. You're on the air. But, yeah. But anyway, Maria well, yeah, had, but had uh, just a minute, Jeremy Marilyn. and Allison christened. She took them to uh -huh. church and had, had them christened without uh, oh, did she? mother knowing about it. But she didn't want them to be raised heathen <laughs> or whatever. So she wanted them to be forgiven for the sins of the father. Uh, you say that again. <laughs> so That's a did. heavy load, baby. <laughs> so what oh. she did is took them and said, I'm going to obey these kids. None of these little dousy. We're going to scrub these kids down. <laughs> That's kind of That's the only terrible. baptism was soap and water. Is that out of Oh, mercy. <laughs> Hi, oh, there. Marilyn, welcome to WER Talk Radio. You're there. Mom and Joanne, you've been had. We've been had? Yes. How's that? Got all them commercials in there. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. What do you mean we've been had? He mm -hmm. used your show to get all his commercials in. Yeah, I want to find out how much Gary's getting for all this That's stuff. So stupid, silly, active poo. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, you go wash your <laughs> mouth out, young lady. For goodness sakes, I'm here as a guest. <laughs> That's right, a guest. Yeah, Do you these, think he's after our job? Uh, these look people. At, uh, I'm beginning uh, to look wonder. Gary, I, I really am. No, no, our listeners Absolutely are Absolutely very... free. You know, when I was on 60 Minutes... You're not Oprah doing this Winfrey. free. I don't believe this. Well, I, I am. I am. Did you meet Stedman? Stedman. O Oprah's uh, her, man. Her boyfriend. Yes. Yeah. Did you really? Man. Yes, Oprah's man. Uh, yeah, he was there. I didn't realize he was her man then, because this was about a year and a half ago. Why, and, was he talking to some other woman? <laughs> no, he was just... <laughs> Taking up the whole hall. I just, oh, I said, hello down. Uh, that's what I said. <laughs> I saw you brown nosing because you talked about Oprah, how she'd lost yeah. weight. Yeah, that's Because I saw right. you on the show, and yeah. I remember you saying that I she had the, lost weight. That's I was the token Caucasian. Is that what you were? Yeah, I The token that. Caucasian? Isn't she a beautiful lady, though? Yes, I like her and show. And see, yeah, you ladies are of the same, uh, what? same fabric, same uh, wow. talent, mm -hmm. the same skill. Is that right? You know, and it's taken broadcasting so long to get everyone's voice behind a microphone. 
Yeah, I guess yeah. it must be getting nervous yeah. for you talking Caucasians. It's got to be. You got people like Bill Cosby, I, I, yeah. Oprah Winfrey, yeah. Arsenio Hall. Number, number one is Arsenio <laughs> from Cleveland, too. No, I mean, that's got to get scary for you. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know that something has gone wrong with we'll Jerry We'll be as good Dean. to you guys as you were to us. got a bag you can and get on my knees to be on your show. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> really? We can assure you, Gary. Times, they have changed. <laughs> that's right. That's right. They are a change. Number one talk, number one talk show uh, person yeah. is Oprah Winfrey. Yeah. Number one television show, Bill Cosby. Right. Rapidly becoming number one night to nighttime talk show person is Arsenio Hall. Just remember, we'll be as good as you people were. We'll, we'll be as good to you as you guys were to us. You know, it's a shame. <laughs> that your conscience it's a shame your guy. That, that's the elitist <laughs> of, of any color. The, but it's elite. Uh, uh -huh. See, we really, uh, you know, they tried everyone in the world before they would put a black on television. What do you mean they tried? No, blacks have been on television a lot. We don't want to get too well, heavy with yeah, this, but right, they've been right. on. It's just the type of roles that they've had. But they've been on television for quite some time. They've right. always had. Actually, they've always had blacks on television. They usually right. were playing subservient roles, right. or they were in right. the, the roles such as the step and fetch and so forth. But they've right. always had them on their gear. How'd you think of Gone with the Wind and the, the the parts that were portrayed by the black and Gone with the Wind? Well, I thought black. that she should have hit her back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Right. I think we should rewrite that, because they're going to rewrite it. And yeah. I think when they rewrite it, she should slug her, just knock that babe down the stairs. That's what she should do. Yeah. Hi, old Jim. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Good evening, ladies. Hi. And Gary, first-time caller. Uh, welcome. <laughs> Amen and hallelujah. First time Gary on show. So. Gary, I, I want to thank you for especially the past year and a half. Uh, I grew up with you. I started listening to you in 1972 on WERE when I was in 10th grade, and I grew up with you. And I want to thank you for the last year and a half that you gave us on the other station. And I'm a fireman now in a suburb. Well, congratulations. And, and you know how it is with your dad being a fireman. Right. Your father was a fireman? Right. And right. I know how it is, you know, the long days in the firehouse. And me and the guys used to listen to you, and we really enjoyed you the past year and a half. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. But well, that's a cushy job. Give them steel. Fireman. No, it's not. Yes, you guys work on the weekends. They work <laughs> They work all the weekends. They get paid for 48 hours. Yeah, and they're daddy off. Work. And no, they no, are. he's a fireman. <laughs> then they were yeah, off. They're off there. five days a week. Yeah. That's a cushy job, a yeah. fireman. Gary, welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Good. Hi, Payman Joanne. Hi, Hi honey. Hello there. Oh, okay. How you doing? Just fine. First time caller also to both shows, your past show and this show. Well, very good. Yeah. Welcome, Payman welcome. Joanne. Welcome to this. Uh, thank you, Payman Joanne. I've never called you before, but I've listened a few times, and I love it. Good, good. Gary, we do miss you. Well, that's good, good to hear. Good. That's good to hear. Freedom of speech. Well, I had a good run. I was in radio since I was 17, uh, 1954, at a Mexican station in Fresno. Mexican? Pam, yeah. did you know those people? Yeah. I didn't know the I Fresno. FCC I don't know the Fresno right. Mexican. Uh, well, back then, I had an FCC <laughs> license, and, and I signed on and off the log, and uh, Jose oh, is that right? uh, Martinez Flores did not have a license. He was a, uh, you know... Thank God for Pam and Joanne. Amen. Yes, that's Amen. right. That's right. Since you've been gone, it's the bland leading the bland. That's what Gary said. the other station today, they talked about washing your hands 70 times <laughs> one day. Who the hell cares? Really, really? Isn't that terrible? See what we are? Look what the jewel well, is. Hey, oh, my oh, mama. God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my pan? mama. We, we turn that inside out. It's my mama's pizza. <laughs> and stick it in your mouth. And chew on it. You'll like the anchovy. <laughs> It's not cheap here. <laughs> uh, Mike, welcome to WERE Talk Radio. I, I have my fingers in a towel here because I've been trying to dial this station so long. Drexler or <laughs> and the ad store, my good buddy, the former newsman that I had here at WRE oh, back really? in the early 70s. What's he doing now? Uh, he's got... Has been broadcast. <laughs> We have some openings at the Pam and Joanne School of Broadcast. You're welcome. I, I want to say that I used to listen to you folks on Sunday. Oh, did you? I you were the best thing on the radio. Oh, thank, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Lord, I need the money. <laughs> and, and I liked all your conversation about Mikey. <laughs> we didn't say that, Master Polly. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. what? This, this, this is the best team on the radio. Amen. Uh, Amen, and Michael. They'd have been hits back in people power because they, they are real. They oh. are real. Well, we were too young. Thank you, thank But thank you very much. Thank you very uh, much. Uh, Michael, you're a learned man and an uh, excellent newsman. Uh, to give some good adjectives of, of what these ladies represent on this microphone. Reality. Excellent. Uh, a dynamic reality, uh, a voice that is not expressed elsewhere, um, humor. Oh, thank you, thank you, humor. <laughs> and, and as a matter of fact, 
Helen Lovey, the purple uh, lady who sells advertising on that station, uh -huh. has got me buying ads on your show, and I couldn't get on tonight. Well, you well, buy, well, then you well, buy tomorrow, it tomorrow, some other night. Another day, you know. Yeah, I, I bought it. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna, good. I'm going to be a subscriber to Pam. Be a subscriber. Good. We what, love, what do you sell? What do you sell? What do you sell? He's an ad store and sells uh, I, I, gimmicks. I, 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 He's I, I, got I, I, condoms on a keychain. Gimmicks? <laughs> we lost tons uh, of money on You're not one of those people that got to take the doors off your place, is it? No, no. Oh, no. okay. I just Mike, want to know. Uh, has some of the greatest uh, corporate accounts here in Cleveland. Oh, okay. And he makes jackets, hats. Good. Well, we love our subscribers. Good, good. That's what keeps us on the air. Yeah, and I'm going to be making W-E-R-E keychains. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Make Pam and Joanne keychains. Good, keychain. good. Do that. Thank you, sir. we got to move on. Thank, Thank you very you much. I appreciate that. Thank you for calling. Thank you for being a part of our show. He's a good man. Ed, welcome to W-E-R-E -E Talk Radio. Just to make sure he pays in advance. <laughs> <laughs> Ed, you're on the air. Welcome to W-E-R-E -E Talk Radio. You're on the air. Now, he, uh, one time my uh, Volkswagen was repossessed here in your parking lot Hold at W-E-R-E. And it was Mike Drexler pulled out 300 cash out of his pocket and uh, loaned me the money to have my car unimpounded. <laughs> <laughs> we call him Big Mike. That okay. Was, Come on, Ed. You're on the air. Give it to us. My ex-wife, oh, it was in her name, and be darned if I was going to make payments on it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him repossess it. And how they got that Volkswagen out of your parking lot with three cars uh, in back of it. And, and all a helicopter. It. They don't care. They okay. want it. They will right. get it. What do we got to do? Who's Mike, on the air? Hello, Ed. Home. You're on the air. Come on, honey. Hello. Hi, Gary. Yes. Yes, we miss you a lot here. Well, thank you. Please. Hey, uh, what she was talking about, that fireman's job being a cushy job, yeah, tell those two spooks. Oh, my goodness. We got him. Okay, let's talk about Bill and Bob Morris. Yeah, amen and hallelujah. And at Bob Morris in North Ridgeville, gang, we've got four or five used car lots, and we've got a car from for everyone in any credit range. If you've got no credit or, in fact, uh, at one of our car lots, Here's our credit check, Pam and Joanne. You go into Bob Morris at one of his used car lots, and if you can breathe on a mirror, if you can fog, <laughs> if you can fog a mirror, you'll, you can get a car. You got a car. How about that? And, and it ain't much of a car, but, but it, it, it'll get you out of there and to the next bank, and you can rob it <laughs> and make your payment first before you leave the state. Bob Morris, North Ridgeville, uh, honest dealer who's out there doesn't pay the overhead that the big city guys does. He passed the savings on to you, and he helps you out, too. Now remember, 50 of you got a ride this spring on my boat, and now if you buy a new used car truck, you get a trip, a real trip, not out of Gordon Park, but a trip on the Princess Cruise Lines to Disneyland and the Bahamas. So give Bob Morris a call. Stop out and kick a few car, uh, tires tomorrow. Bob Morris on Center Ridge Road in North Ridgeville, Illyria. And the Drape Factory, good uh, friends, Marty and Elaine Arsham. And everybody talks about my beautiful blinds and my house out in Eastlake. And who did those? Marty and Elaine Arsham of the Drape Factory. And the name is exactly what they do. It is a factory, wholesale to you, the public. In fact, when they started in business, they just did draperies and, and blinds and every type of window treatment. They do it all, just for hospitals and... Uh, in uh, drug rehab centers and <laughs> where they give you a nice pastel. <laughs> and so go in at 3030 Superior Avenue, buy Factory Direct from Marty and Elaine Arsham and tell them that Joanne and Pam sent you in. We want you to put your phone down. Those of you who have been listening, you've been listening to The Other Side with Pam and Joanne. Our lucky number, your lucky number is 578-1300. We'll be right back after the news on The Other Side, Talk Radio 1300. Some guests are heard on WERE in exchange for promotional consideration, and many WERE programs are paid for by the producer. Opinions and advice given on WERE are those of participants and not necessarily those of sponsors, owners, or management. Most advice pertains to a specific circumstance and cannot be generalized to all situations. Talk Radio 1300 means traffic and weather every 15 minutes, every weekday morning. WERE, Cleveland. Talk Station, WERE Talk Radio 1300 presents Pam and Joanne. Hi, Cleveland! Welcome, welcome, welcome!
Welcome, welcome to the last and final hour of this Tuesday edition of The Other Side with Pam and Joanne. We have a student, a famous, former famous student of the Pam and Joanne School of Broadcasting. That's Mr. Gary D. Gilbert. Back in for a remedial makeup right. work. Right? That's right. That's right. Or whatever. He is here, here in person. And our number, your lucky number, is 578-1300. We want to thank you, Gary, for coming on. And being well, I want to thank you for having me. Well, I, I really good. do. That's good. It's and I want to thank your owners. Um, yes, you've Mr. sucked Lane. up to them enough, Gary. Well, no, they're, I'll they're, thank they're you for people. that. That's I'm sure they I've are. I've known for uh, almost 18 years. I know, I when know. I met Larry Robinson when I first came to Cleveland. Yes, well, we've had enough of that brown No, seriously. Gary. Uh, uh, I, I've got I mean, a, I, I, we want our job. No. Gary said he didn't want the job, and boss, I don't, and so I don't. we don't need but, to but do listen, any more brown In fact, there was an article about ownership of radio stations in the FCC to go into the character in the background of station owners. I think it's about time they did. But not hosts. No, not hosts. <laughs> <Just phone. laughs> That's wild, people. But you, uh, we're so fortunate to have these owners who are first and foremost broadcasters and yes. they're here to serve uh, yes. Cleveland. Yes. Who, who more interested in Cleveland is Larry Robinson yes. or Bob Weiss or Norman Wayne? Yes. Mm -hmm. Norman, remember him as the, uh, no. he, he was the number one. No, we don't remember. Announcer. Norman Wayne, the wild Indian, uh, well, what was his name, Tom Tom? I don't know. Wahoo or something, I don't yeah. know. We don't remember. I, I wasn't the old days born. of Wixie, 1260 and whatever. They didn't play Temptations. But these are broadcasters, <laughs> you know. <laughs> they didn't play the Temptations. So I didn't and let me you. also say, to my former employers across the street. Yes, they are. You think they're, they're say hello, hello, hello yeah. from Gary. And then they too are great broadcasters. Yes, also. we all they are. Really are. Well, you can tell this man's looking for a job. No, Unemployment no, no, must no, have been no. rough, Gary. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> you've got a local people owning your local radio station yes, yes. interested in your community, yes. and, and that is great. Okay. That is great. All right. But you've right. got to realize that I've scared the heck the out PSA of... The PSA is the second break, Gary. Out of everybody because of this uh, <laughs> one particular complaint, which I, I will live long enough, if God willing, to yes. prove that it was Well, you're in good shape. I think you're going to make it. You look like you'll make it, Gary. And drug, uh, you look oriented. like you'll make it. You look oh, like you'll make right. it. All right, enough of that. I've said all I want to say. Now let's have some fun. All right, Danny, E-R-E, W-E-R-E, -E, on the air. Gary, Danny from Hoboken. Welcome back to Cleveland again, bro. He's <laughs> never left Cleveland. The FCC to Gary D from Z. What's happening, <laughs> A poet, Gary, a poet. Huh? Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you have a poet, Gary. What do you think of that? Hi, O'Allen. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio 1300. Hello, Gary. Yes. <laughs> I'm still wearing your ring. God bless you. Where are you wearing it? On oh, my finger. Honey. Oh. <laughs> Give it back to me. I need the money. Let me hock it at J.B. Robinson. <laughs> I bought that from Larry Pollock years ago. A little inside joke there. What? Give me my good night kiss. Oh. Ooh. oh, my Lord, Oh, my. Gary. You, you, are, you, you should have had enough of that, Gary. Turn that in the FCC. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a transmitter on my SS Gary D and go out to the... Uh, Canadian border, and we'll have a pirate ship. That's what we'll do. We'll broadcast uh -huh. uh, Castaway Coolest of You heard it here first. <laughs> okay. Hi, oh, Jenny. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Uh, hi, Pam and Joanne and Gary. Listen, you ladies are very, very funny. Thank you I very much. I have listened to you before, but it's the first time calling. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to the other side, Pam and Joanne. Uh, okay, you know, and listen Absolutely. to Gary. Mm. Oh, it's so nice to hear your voice. You sound great. What did you do? Stop smoking? I said, <laughs> not Harley. He's choking me to death right now. Well, I, I, I'm trying, honey. Uh, say a prayer for me. I'm about ready to throw him away. Okie dokie. But I have cut down to... tremendously. You could, it's impossible. You must have smoked two at a time. Yeah. It's impossible that you're cutting down. <laughs> well, this is before a microphone, you know. And oh, oh, I only I used to smoke in front of winning the microphone. Or... Oh, I see. Um, hi, oh, Peter. Peter, welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Oh. Hey, Gary, you got Etasso Paris on your side? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And with Etasso, we... Yeah, you talk radio. You're on the air. Hi, dear. I just wanted to ask Gary. I've enjoyed listening to him when he was on the air. Wait a minute. Because I work by myself, and it gets lonely, and he was funny. Well, thank oh, you. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to, uh, Gary, have you got your tapes available anymore? No, no, and they won't be. No? No. Uh, let's move in. I'll have some new tapes. Um... Hopefully, if I'm uh, ever again in radio. But you don't want the old tapes. Gary, welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Fearless leader. Yes. Uh, originator of the Ernest Hemingway edition uh, shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, the last time you were in a room uh, yes. that close to two uh, young black women, didn't one of them? Oh, my Lord. Yes, Gary? yes, they did. 
<laughs> and we did it here tonight, too. <laughs> These girls, they had a linoleum knife, and, and I didn't have a towel. <laughs> Now, that was a real story. That was a real story. <laughs> That's right. What time? I'm lost here. I'm not, I don't know what's going on, Gary. It's coming, it's coming, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, Joanne. Hi, old Bill. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. I just found you in a 480 and 77. You're lucky I didn't see Roger. <laughs> That's, uh, we had a tape on that. He was out to get us. God bless you people. Hey, remember, look at your uh, fans, Gary. Uh, well, it was, it was sort of a soap so, opera and whatever. What is the mystique, Gary? What is it that keeps well, you, you know, that allows you to race? Tell us how to do this. First how do you of all, rise to number these one? These people that are calling in are very creative, intelligent people mm -hmm. who are tired of, of, of just playing the game. Okay. And Gary D allowed them to uh, to, to do their thing. Express and, and to, to express. Uh, okay. What is ooh, it, Gary? That ooh, ooh, listen to Pam. Pam is a married woman. Pam's been flirting with Gary the whole time. Not you have been flirting with Gary. People can hear that, Pam. I don't think that's fair. I'm just enjoying the beauty of a nice, calm lady that doesn't yell. At least, Pam, you don't yell. Pam has been snuggling up the Gary. See, she's trying to change up. Pam and Joey, Pam wants Gary to change up. Pam and Joey, Pam wants Gary and Pam. I got some welfare checks in here. Pam wants Gary and Pam. Pam and Joey, Pam wants Gary and Pam. It's Gary and Pam. I got some welfare cheese here. Where did you girls get all the good uh, hors d'oeuvres here? Is oh, I don't know. Is I that some of Merle Paulus's? <laughs> just leftovers. Uh, leftover? Massa Paulus. He's Massa Paulus. He's it out on Massa Those God are the bless. crumbs from the table. Massa Paulus gives us the crumbs for the table. Really? Pam's been snuggling up. Pam, that is not fair. Now, you've been snuggling up to Gary here, all night. All night long. She's looking. See, she knows that you're looking for our job, Gary. I am not. Yes, I, you I are, really, Gary. Look, I you am not. Here, look, look, we're not stupid. Lady. You come in here with 80 advertisers. I didn't you think sell you don't these. Do I didn't sell those. Well, Your station sold those. Your sure station, did. being a very good sure. sales department, knew who my <laughs> subscribers sure. were. And uh, mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with it. And shook them down. Gary. Went out and shook, shook them down. down. Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's, that's the name of the game. Uh, it just we know pleasure. that's the name I, of the that's game. That's why we know. We know, Gary. <laughs> it's look, a I, pleasure wait, to be on the air. I'm D not callers. looking for your job. I'm not sure I even I want to come back into radio. I want I want I want callers. I want I callers to call in here and give us some promotion. Well, I'll walk out. I'm not trying. I'll take off. I'll take my seat. No, we've got to run these giant spots that our people sold. So you can't walk out. Well, then give me some money. <laughs> give me some money, honey. If you could walk out, I would have thrown you out the last hour. The mercy. Well, I knew you were after my job. Who's the, using who here? I don't know. What are you talking about? Uh, you sold these jive spots. You come into the place hey. with all these ass in your pocket, <laughs> and then you say, I don't want your job. I just let those brass know how much money I can bring to the station. <laughs> <laughs> then you have all these goons called, uh, 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 and then we love you, Gary. We love you, Gary. Well, I mean, not here are called Joanne. <laughs> Now, I've sat here and I've been quiet since 9, 8 o'clock. I've had it, Gary. Now, listen, Joy. Now, don't let some old man come in here and take my job. This old man. <laughs> listen, lady. When we get through, we're going to be seven cotton rows over and you got a smile on your face, honey. <laughs> let me tell you. you but what I see here uh, is nothing can make me smile. Maybe a snicker. Uh, but <laughs> not a smile. <laughs> Now, honey, don't believe that old myth. <laughs> Let's don't get into Let's a, just take a call. This, this is a 90, and we broadcast. Now, I have had how many side spots we got for Gary D anyway? My Lord. It was about 85. Every two minutes, we got Gary D. My old friends at there and so on. Don't forget to call them. I have my car, so forth and so on. Well, you got to eat, now, you got to drive, you got to have insurance, you got to have drapes, you got to get your carpets clean. <laughs> I have oh, just, and, I have just had it. Uh, you know, I didn't bring in uh, Sharon's uh, <laughs> house of fun. <laughs> you know, I kept them off the air. <laughs> well, we're glad to hear that. Oh, thank you, Gary. God spare us for little favors. Okay. So what is God thank us for and little favors? Who's up next? Who's, now, who's up next? next? American National Auto Insurance and his Ryan's brothers and sisters Ryan's. that also have two dollars. Amen. And uh, <laughs> that's who it is. And hallelujah. <laughs> The miracle worker Brian Sanchuk. <laughs> no Remember. shame, no shame. And they refuse no one. <laughs> and there's bound to be someone out there that's been refused. Have you, partner, been refused? Isn't it? Oh, it makes you feel terrible and you get a terrible self-image. Brian Sanchuk comes running, opens his arms, and kisses you. And then you're arrested, boy, because they don't allow that kind of stuff anymore. We, we refuse no one. If you've uh, had your license suspended, DUIs, accidents, tickets, if you've tried to outrun the police in Alabama, you call <laughs> Mr. Brown. No, you call Brian Sanchuk, the miracle worker. He'll get you insurance on the east side. 
Call 461-SAVE and then clean up your driving act, you know. It's just costing you money. So uh, clean up your driving and call Brian Sanchuk, the miracle worker, on the west side, 749-SAVE. Joanne? This sure will be a night for fishermen's friend. Extra strong throat and chest lozenges. First made for deep sea fishermen way back in the 1860s. Full of menthol and eucalyptus to help get the fog out of your head and the frog out of your throat. When you've tried everything else and you're still under the weather, try Fisherman's Friend. Extra strong throat and chest lozenges. Imported from Fleetwood, England for when you're under the weather. Available at fine stores everywhere. The vocabulary of the average person stops growing by age 25. If your vocabulary is limited, your potential for success is limited. New Verbal Advantage, Achievement Dynamics' powerful audio cassette program gives you the words you need. Just by listening, you'll learn word meanings, pronunciation, and spelling, plus the essential power words to give you confidence in any situation. For information, call now, 1-800-365-RSVP. 1-800-365-RSVP. Talk Radio 1300. At 11 o'clock, after The Other Side with Pam and Joanne, we want you to join Larry King as he celebrates 12 years in broadcasting. Who is his uh, guest? Boring, but, mundane, but, know it all. <laughs> From but, Washington, D.C., <laughs> by way of satellite. <laughs> Larry, listen to Larry listen, King. Now, look, look, he's thing. David Letterman, who is also celebrating his eight years in broadcasting. And he's going to be his guest right. on Talk Radio 1300. W-E-R-E. -E. Good stuff. Yes, that's right. Unfortunately. We play some more tunes, Gary. Get you loosened up again. Um, what do you want us to play? Oh, you want us to play? That's good stuff. That I is know good. it is. Yeah, I know it is. Really I know. Is. We know what we're doing here. This, you got to feel it. I mean, my Lord, look at how late it is at night. You got to keep our energy going as we go. Hi. <laughs> I'll take your girls and we'll go out. What do you do after the show? Do I go I? home. I go you home. home. Yes, I go home. I have to go home. All in children. I go home. So look at him, Pam. He's smooching up with you, you know again, Pam. I've got a big six foot three, Pam. Oh, mercy. What do you mean you've got a big six foot three? Don't worry about it. Absolutely, Pam. He doesn't, Pam. Pam. He doesn't take any stuff. I'm going to walk down that lonely road by myself. <laughs> Mind my own business. That's what I'm going to do. Hi, old Keep Frank. Keep my mouth shut. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Gary D. Yes. How you doing, my friend? Uh, just fine. It is so good Please. to hear your voice again. Let me tell you, this is a really interesting concept having you on this show. Let me tell you. <laughs> really? I have not. I told me you were on this show, I would have thought they were crazy. But this, By the dark of night, they let Gary D. sneak <laughs> in the back door. <laughs> And this is where I started it all 18 years ago, and I, it's a nice it, to come back. See this? I used to uh, be able to come in here during the day, mm -hmm. sure, sure. and where everybody was white. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't well, life wonderful? Isn't life wonderful? Uh, yes, it is. It <laughs> is. Times do <laughs> change. That's right. The times they are changing. Hey, amen. <laughs> and that's, that's, why, good. that's good. That's why we're good. pumping in this music. We aren't playing that stuff like the, what are the girls get prettier the later closer it is to closing. Or right. Amen. <laughs> Give me another drink. <laughs> Make me forget to remember I'm married. Bartender, give me Southern. another one. Yeah. Hi, old Bob. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Gary D. Yes, sir. My hero. God bless you. Hey, where you been, Pam? I've been hiding. Hey. <laughs> Staying away from Pam and Joanne. I they they, they hey, eat Pam me alive. <laughs> Pam and Joanne. Yes. I listen to you all the time. But Thank you. Great. You're Aren't they great? You're, you're worth a class gentleman. Oh, really? Yes, you are. Well, tell them to come on in. No, he's sitting next to you. Oh, 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 oh okay. Well, oh, thanks, yes. see there. Welcome, Lou. Oh, how nice. Santa man Luke. has good judgment. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. I, 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 I don't know. I don't have anything. Yeah. I just have to go blind on it. Five, seven, eight, thirteen hundred. Hi, oh, no, no. I got the calls. I just don't know who, who's calling. Oh my goodness. Um, hi, oh. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. Yeah. Hi. I was just calling to talk to Gary D. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. Yeah, yes, sir. Find out when we can um, cash in on this uh, this trip on your boat, Yo Mama. Yeah. Well, the, the name has been. Ahead. Okay. Do you have a autograph photograph? Yes, I do. Autograph by yours truly, Gary D. Yeah, it's not okay. a little wrinkled and everything. Well, you know? that, my dear, is a collector's item. <laughs> but uh, first warm day at East 72nd Street, Gordon Park, and you'll be able to ride the SS Gary D. Okay, we're going to have to know about this. Well, you'll hear it and read about it in the paper. <laughs> okay. And I'll be on morning exchange. <laughs> My wife used to work. How did you meet Liz? How'd you meet her? By mistake. <laughs> that was another fight. I met her, Muhammad Ali. 
He said, <laughs> bring on the white one. <laughs> and I was back in the dressing room shaking my knees. <laughs> he just beat up the biggest guys in all the world. It was for uh, the Forest City. Uh-huh. Um, where uh, Muhammad Ali raised $89,000, and the hospital got $1.97. Oh, <laughs> we were all at the Kagan <laughs> Quarter back in 1973, and Liz was oh. ringside, and I was the announcer, and I fought around with Cassius Clay. Oh, so it was Don said, King. Did you know Don King then? I, uh, that was his first fight. Oh, I see. After That's he'd right. been pardoned uh, by <laughs> yeah. the governor for hitting this guy over the head with a fire hydrant. Not hitting. He killed the man, didn't he? Yes, ma'am, he did. Mm -hmm. but it More than a little tap. Well, the guy uh, was a deadbeat. He didn't pay his killing <laughs> bill. <laughs> and so, you know, Don, I don't owe you a thing, baby. I... <laughs> I took the points and lost, baby. What happened to the Broncos anyway? Uh, hi, oh, welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Hey, Pam and Joanne, now you know what it's like to be one of Gary D's producers. <laughs> <laughs> this is Donna. Donna. How are you, Donna? Uh, I'm pretty good. I enjoy your program. Uh, Gary, I've got a cat I need to get rid of. Can you help me out on it? Uh, no, that uh, cat <laughs> will not make it into the night. <laughs> God bless you. Next call. <laughs> Hi, old there. Who is this, Bunny? Bobby? Welcome to WERE. Bunny, hey, Pantoin, how you doing? Hi. Okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Gary. Let's go into the 90s. <laughs> Come on, sir. Let's grow a little bit. Gary D has grown, so I dare you to grow. <laughs> and we got all the drug dealers, and we got the guy, thanks to, uh, hopefully, uh, to the work of the East Lake Police, the FBI, the Treasury Department, who burned my Lyman. Quinesta. Quinesta? Hello. Hi, welcome to yeah. WEI Talk Radio on the air. Oh, hello, dear. How are you doing today? How are you doing tonight, honey? Pretty good. I, Gary, we really miss you. We miss your dumb, ignorant program. <laughs> 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 now we have Pam and Joanne. You have, you've been replaced with another <laughs> dumb, ignorant <laughs> doll there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know, Quinda. One more thing before I go, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Now, Mary. what are you wearing tonight, Lavender? <laughs> Huh? You switch this hitter, is one, you. No, this is finally one of us. I mean, did you plug calling. into the uh, voltage uh, inverter? Are you AC or DC? I mean, what's your voltage tonight on, a, on this, this cruise? This is finally one of our callers Lavender here. Lavender Louie. Hi, oh, you're on the air. Hey, Gary D, this is Roger Martin. Yeah. <laughs> homeless, man. You got some money I can buy. No, Roger. <laughs> you know, Roger, that you've got to do it with the help of God. Come on, Gary. Now, don't make fun of someone that's sick. The man has a disease, and only God can help him. Now, hang up on this. <laughs> yeah, it's not serious. It's not serious. We need more drug rehabilitation. We would need more counselors. We, uh, this nation is at risk, and drugs, and all of this, that, and the other. And it's nothing funny. And Gary D. in the 90s is not going to make fun of Roger Martin or anyone with a disease. Hi, old Jimmy. Welcome to WER Talk Radio on the air. Fearless leader. Yes. How are you? I'm just fine. Giving them steel. Yes, sir. The boat's sinking. Where's my, where's my coffee can to bail some water here with these ladies? <laughs> I haven't heard of you for, what, six months? I hear you on a, doing a commercial from some restaurant or something. You're being a busboy or something? I am uh, washing dishes at the Santa Fe Express. Something else, Gary. Gainful employment. <laughs> Gainful <laughs> employment. <laughs> Seriously, Gary, um, serious question here. Um, did you really enjoy your, enjoy your stay with that last radio station with? Did you really enjoy your work there? Absolutely. Did you really? They're Thank excellent. You. They are excellent uh, employers. They have an excellent facility, mm -hmm. and they didn't want to fire me. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, business is business, and I endangered their license. And you lose your license, you're out of business. I see. And they were very nice to me. They treated me nice and with respect and gave me a nice cash settlement. <laughs> The men are true gentlemen. God That's bless why them. we need him for our agent, Pam. That's yeah, why I'm looking you. for him, because I, I want those you. cash settlements. Yeah, I, right. Have you ever lost a license anywhere you've been? Never, never, never lost a suit. Never lost a lawsuit? Right. No. And never, you know, you Just think, divorce actions. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's love. That's it. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's children. Up. I want my children to live a good life. Uh-huh. Enjoy life. And I've, I've provided for my children quite well. Yes. Now continue to do so. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. what love is all about. Well, let's provide for them tonight by giving something for the Drapery Factory. Okay, that's Marty and Elaine Arsham of the Drapery Factory at 3030 East Superior. I don't need the copy. Now, Marty and Elaine started out years ago, the Drape Factory, all the wholesale. And, you know, I can get it for your wholesale. Well, you don't have to just know Merle Paulus anymore. You can walk right in <laughs> to 3030 uh, East Superior, right off the inner belt. Uh, just get off on uh, Superior and, and uh, go right. If you're going uh, that way, go east on Superior off the uh, uh, inner belt curve, just for uh, your, your cream a semi on the dead man's curve. 
And you can pick it right out there. We have a whole rack of ready-mades. We've got uh, blinds and verticals like I have in every color and everything, and you can get it, and you're going to save at least 50%. If you don't believe me, well, you just haven't been to the Drape Factory, 3030 Superior, Marty and Elaine Arsham. God bless them. Okay, Bob Morris, Pontiac, GMC Trucks, North Ridgeville on Center Ridge Road in North Ridgeville and Elyria. And uh, Bob Morris, I uh, like Bob because he likes to sell them straight. He makes a buck on every car. You can't remain in business and, you know, all these razzle-dazzles and dealers like this and that. No, they sure uh, they make a profit, but they make a smaller margin than any of the other dealers because Bob Morris does not have the overhead. You should see this one lot that you can go in and you can get a car for nothing down. And once you see the cars, you can understand why you can get them. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can breathe on a mirror at, uh, at one of our used car lots, you've got a car. So we serve everybody. And we've got new GMCs and trucks, and we've got new Pontiacs, and we've got them all. And you buy a new used car or truck, and you get a free trip on the Princess Cruise Line to oh. Disneyland and the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. And this is a first rate. This ain't the SS Gary D. This is to Disneyland and the Bahamas at Bob Morris. Pontiac GMC, Center Ridge Road, North Ridgeville, Elyria. Yes, 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 yowza, yowza, we play our tunes here. That's something to loosen up there. Get yeah, that all right. Well, I love these hors d'oeuvres. You guys have food here all the time? <laughs> I don't know. No, no, no food all no the time. time. No, no food, food all the time. The You're right. listening to Talk Radio 1300 WERE on your AM dollar. We have as a guest for tonight The other a station student. had a machine that stole my 45 cents. Every time a guy tried to get a bag of peanuts, they're saying live peanuts. Well, maybe you should have included that in your contract, Gary. So when yeah. they did, they gave you that buyout, they would have given you your 45 cents back. I think maybe you could have done something like that. Hi, oh, Gloria. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Uh, oh, Gary D. Yes, ma'am. Was Milt Solomon your attorney, or was your wife's attorney? Did you ever square off with you? <laughs> what? <laughs> Honey, I've had so many attorneys, and God bless. You no, know, Liz's attorney was an excellent divorce attorney, and, and may he rest in peace. Uh, <laughs> no, sadly, it's sad. Uh, he died of, of, of cancer. In a very, oh, uh, uh, oh, that uh, is sad. Uh, Mr. Nerling. Yes, I'm sorry I laughed. Yeah. I'm so uh, sorry. We're sure here about and, it. Too uh, even uh, you know the uh, fight and everything. Uh, you go out in the halls and you yeah, know, I remember that thing on her stuff. nose. Um, yeah, that did was... you really hit her, Gary? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> And she hit me. You know, I mean, we were a you real marriage. Back, huh? But no, that thing, Liz is the greatest show person. I give her credit. But she died. Uh -huh. And she used my insurance. She got a nose job. <laughs> is that what she did? Yeah. You're looking for a garbage yeah, can. I got it here. And so she went and got her nose. And then that night she took it off and went to a party. <laughs> but, Called the camera and had everyone there. Give, give the lady credit. God bless her. Hi, oh, there. Joe or Alvin? Who do I have here? Alvin. Who? Alvin. Okay, Alvin, you're on the air. It sounds like he got something in common with Mike White. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God bless him. That's allegedly, that's allegedly. Now, look, Liz and I, the record states that we both uh, had, uh, we both struck each other. We both, Liz was guilty of assault. I oh, was really? guilty of assault, yeah. Oh, I and and I didn't make it, uh, uh, and I've never gotten credit for this. Liz came at me in, uh, one time and just uh, tore the hell out of my face. You know, uh, wrecked one cornea in my left eye. I didn't make any big deal out of that. Because when you have emotions mm -hmm. and when you love someone, mm -hmm. and I love Liz very, very much, and Liz mm -hmm. loved me very, very much, but the mm -hmm. marriage was uh, in a downward spiral. And you take out the anger, and uh, the individual isn't necessarily the target. There's other problems. Hi, old Jay. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Yes, I have a question for the teacher. Yes. Teacher. But, no, Pam's a teacher. I, I, Joanne. I still can't say Robin's last name now. Is it swallow my load? Hey. <laughs> Gary. Grow up. Grow up. We got, Grow up. They're coming out, Gary. Oh, the walls, well, the cracks. Gary, how do you call? Not, why is not it on, that you? Not on why my time it? and not on your time and not on the station's time. Well, they, well no, we, that, they don't realize that they're that not going to get on the... put me on the air in the first place. That's, they're not we gonna, can have a great show without any of that, sir. I know. How is it? Hi, old Ken. That was great years before you were ever on my show, sir. <laughs> Hello, Gary. Yeah. This is your friend Ken Dixon. I was on the show with you talking about rock and roll about a year ago. Yeah, Ken. I was wondering if you changed your mind. Have, do you support the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame now? Now, or you're still against all this rock? I think our money could better be used to drugs, uh, fighting drugs, to give uh, more money to our police department. Uh, it's rampant. We're a nation at risk. Uh, no, I'm against the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm against the new stadium. All our, uh, you know, in our budget, national budget now today, and Social Security, this, that, and the other, I don't think that we can afford to glorify druggies 
with a Hall of Fame, sir. Guns I think we are. Roses? I think our priorities. Yeah, Guns and Roses. <laughs> and people like that. I don't. I think we are priorities here in Cleveland are upside down. That's my personal opinion. Well, that's what they pay for. Hi o, hi o. Oh Next goodness. call. Fuck you. No, it, it off. no, I got it. Okay, I got stop, it. The stop. lights on. I got it. You let it. <clears throat> you go through. I got it. That's uh, no, I think you know. We seriously. Uh, which would you rather have? A drug-free society or a new stadium for the Indians? Hmm? Uh, would you rather have a rock and roll Hall of Fame, or would you rather your sons and daughters go to a drug-free school and get a good education? Let's put our priorities straight here for once in Cleveland. Now you won't hear anyone else talk this way because I'm not employed. <laughs> by the elitists. Mm -hmm. I have my Who own business, you? so I can say exactly what I mean and exactly what I think is best for this city. Hi no I one owns Gary D. Only God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gary, don't leave. The speech was good, but it's not worth good. leaving Come for. On, it wasn't good. that good. Hi, old Paul. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio on the air. Yeah, good evening. I'd just like to say hello to you girls. I'm hi to the fearless one, Gary D. Amen and hallelujah. Give him steel. Gary, I've been in Par I live in Parma, and all of a sudden I go past that one place that you were at, that Empress Chili. Yes, sir. <laughs> Guess what? What? Ha what? Their history. Yeah. What? Ha you mean they're gone, Gary? They're chili. One of your advertisers? The chili just didn't. Uh, did you ever taste it? No, I didn't taste well, it. You were I, saying how good it was on the air. Yeah. That yeah. means we can't trust you. I don't, know. I don't know. I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Hi, oh, you're on the air. Who is this? Uh, about time. What takes you so long? Look. Well, we got tons of calls, sir. <laughs> yeah, I thought I was lost out in space someplace. You yeah. are. You are. And yeah, your the, ship is leaving in about five minutes. You're so I, Pam so, and Joanne, so, so I'm so. not going to detain you. I'm going to let you get right on aboard. Hi, oh, Mark. Welcome to. Well, I had fun. <laughs> Let's say a good word for Frank Coos and Gloria of Dijon's. And you know, in America, we talk about, we love to bash the Japanese. Don't bash the Japanese. Just get a better product and build craftsmanship and workmanship the way it was when my father was raising me. Uh, you're not going to be number one by doing a shoddy job and having parts left over after the car is built, found in the glove compartment. Don't buy on a Monday or a Friday from the assembly line. <laughs> You know, Frank Coos did all of that, and he said, I'm going to have my own business. You know, that's the American dream. What happened to the American dream for those of us that were born here and given a golden spoon in all of our mouths? Why didn't we uh, uh, go out and become what we can be in the American dream? Let's bring back that American dream. Frank Coos has done it with a good wife, Gloria, who stood behind him through hard and, and bad times and good times. Now he's invented the RX Hydromaster 20. In fact, all the leading carpet cleaners throughout the nation use Frank Coos's invention. It is the best. So go to the inventor, Frank Coos, of D. John's Carpet Cleaning. He's only a phone call away for the finest in carpet cleaning. Remember the name, D. John's, 524-8650. That's right, moving on. You know what that means? On. Ah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. To our regular listeners, you know what that means? That means the clock is on the upswing. Yes. We are heading toward the 11 o'clock hour, and we want to thank everyone that has participated in our show. All of you have been a part of us tonight because without you, we know we would not be here. As Pam and I continue to climb higher and higher to our level of incompetence, because we plan on being the, the number, number one talk show host in, in this country. country. And with your help, with your assistance, we will be that. Your lucky number, 578-1300. And we have in our studio a rare opportunity. We have a guest. We have Gary D. If you'd like to talk to him, just give us a call on Talk Radio 1300 WERE on your AM dial. Hi, old Mike. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Hey, yeah, good evening. How are you girls doing? All right, honey. Hi. I just want to tell you, and I mean this very sincerely, as long as you have Gary D. there, you girls will be the number one talk. Well, he's only going to be here tonight. Well, I'm hoping that you can arrange it where you can get them back more often. Well, if there were... It's around that you guys have Gary D. No, it's a one-time <laughs> shot. Oh, and it's, it's, it's been uh, fun for me, and it was good to come back to WRE where it all began in the city for me uh, 18 years ago. Uh, and people power days. Remember Howie Lunn and all those guys? And the great ones. The great ones all have been on this station. 
And it's good to be back. Oh, we're glad to have yeah, you. It's good, Gary. you know, and we're we move to... on. We move on. Yes, we, move we and on. it's good to be loved. Isn't it nice to have, yes, it? It have that much it, it, power it, it, in your control? Well, you know, I thought you we can take this and go to the whole bunch of God bless all of you, and I thank all of you for putting up with me for these 18 past years. And it was a good run. It really, really was. And in, uh, in my circumstance with the FCC, I have no one to blame. But I, had I, uh, I've thought about this. If I were to do it over again, I wouldn't have changed a thing. <laughs> oh, that, but, well, that's good to you know. know. Who is this? Who do we have? Welcome to WERI Talk Radio. Who is this? Hi, it's T.R. How you doing? But, but let me finish the statement because uh, the, there's been a complaint, and it's only complaint. Anyone can complain. There's no conclusion to it yet. And rest assured, this case that Gary D is involved with now with the FCC will turn out bigger than the Lenny Bruce case. <laughs> really, I, I'm serious. Uh, really? In fact, uh, people of ACLU, people of Freedom of Speech, people of the uh, First Amendment Rights Committee are rallying to my side. And we're learning, now that I've got some help, we're learning that this complaint was not from a listener who cared what Gary D says on the air. It was from a vested political drug interest. Politically motivated. T.R., welcome. Well, politically and drug. Drug motivated, I see. Where, uh, Money from drugs gets into politics. I and see. the only way, they tried to stop da, me da, da. by burning my boat. Da, da, da. The only other way was to kill me or get me off the air. You and I'm glad. saying kill me, Gary. we got 20 minutes to go. Well, you I say mean, there's a contract. Look, let me tell you, I'm willing to turn him in. Just well, tell me, I call on the airline, tell me how much it is. I Don't shoot it. Well, don't I'm go not bragging. <laughs> I'm just giving you the truth, the true fact. People think it's a joke. But no, there's no that. joke that West Allen Drive doesn't have Mike Winter, the biggest Ooh. drug dealer in Lake and Eastern Cuyahoga County, at his home anymore. In fact, my oldest son, Gary Jr., will be bidding at the drug auction for his house, <laughs> his two boats, and his two RVs. It's Go drug get free. him, Gary G. Drug Gary. free. T.R., you're on the air. Hey, did they get that uh, flood warning system put in? Yes, and that. congratulations to Morris Becker. He called me at 11.07 on uh, the day of the ice uh, break and left a message on my recorder. And uh, they've got the communications very good, and Mr. Becker is doing an outstanding job on flood warnings. Next call. Hi, right, your lucky number, 578-1300. Hi, old there. You're on the air. Who do I have here? Yeah, you have Mike again. I was. One I have Mike again? Yeah, I was one of Gary's first callers. I was one. I was one, and I wanted to ask him how his kids were, too. They're all great, all five. Cut off. I've been trying to get in, yeah. get a hold of you. Allison and Jer, I was down to see them over Christmas, and they'll be up in the spring break. Gary and Paul will be in from Cedar Rapids over Easter. Randy is out of drug rehab and has a job. <laughs> in, uh, at an, a small FM station here in Ohio. And he's taking it one day at a time, and I want to thank you for all your prayers. It's always good when they get Roger's a still in trouble. Let's pl play for Roger. But all five of my kids are doing great, and thank hi, you. Hi, old Mike. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Good evening. It's Joe. Joe, hey, I'm sorry, honey. I've got a question, a prediction to make. Go on, honey. Make your prediction. Uh, you're testing the waters for Gary D. He's going to be the new morning uh, morning man. You mean we're testing the waters? Is that what you're saying? You're saying Gary does have an ulterior motive? Yeah. <laughs> Is that right, Gary? No, like no, 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 no. And what's happened? We want to see him in the morning. Well, uh, thank you very much for your confidence and for your compliment. But, you know, what will be God's will will be God's will. Mm -hmm. And God gave me the talent. He kept me alive after a bypass operation. He kept me alive that's from right, the drug that's dealers. Right. He's kept me alive uh, in many, many situations. Maybe there's a reason and there's more than I can do for him. That's what him. we say. We say God put us here, Gary. That's what yeah. Pam and I say. God put us in front of this mic. We, we aren't supposed to be. Hi, old Carla. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Honey, this is really Quinn Esther, but you never you cut me off before I had a chance to say what I wanted to say to Gary. Oh, okay, honey. <laughs> Gary. Yes. <laughs> Your mama. <laughs> No, no. Let's go. Now, oh, fine. No. That's the old Gary D. Now, I've grown. Like I, mean, the, the I cannot believe I've shed my cocoon. Beating. I've grown. And, and it's painful to grow. Uh -huh. and, and things have to... We only uh, grow from adversity. But she enjoyed that, Gary. No, she, you don't want to take that away from her. She enjoyed right. that. Well, well, happy. Okay, well, let's get some new material for the 90s. <laughs> you don't want to take I certainly it. have. And let's address the real problems of Cleveland, which is education and drugs, and not a new stadium or a rock and roll hall of fame, in my opinion. And that's something for open debate. But most of your announcers are paid off by the elitists <laughs> and well, the politicians. But well, we're not. Yeah. Uh, no, you're not. And that's, in fact, you're the only station that would have me on the radio. Oh, no is other, that right? You mean you no ran other... around to everyone else and no, the I only didn't. one had? No, I didn't. <laughs> what do you mean? You came to us first. You know, uh, uh, well, I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Well, please do. We'd like that. I mean, we've been here for two, three hours. This was I an had... idea by a real real creative owner who's okay. got guts. Is that right? 
I okay. called my friend. There he goes, brown what, what? nosing again to no. the owners. Uh, because he, he was a number one broadcaster in his day. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And he's one of your owners. Yes, mm -hmm. I do. And uh, I said, hey, I'm legally free now. Mm -hmm. and, uh, again. And he says, oh, uh, what are you going to do? And I said, <laughs> yeah. you know, I don't know. I've called Chicago, nothing there. Uh -huh. uh, have you heard of anything? You got anything there or there? And when we talked. And he says, hey, how would you like to have you heard? Uh, no, this way, sorry. Has, and he says, I'm not actively involved in the running of this station. Mm -hmm. And he says, have you heard Pam and Joanne? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, I have, because I'd tuned you girls in, because, uh, in fact, Mike Drexler told mm -hmm. me uh, the earlier caller. Really? Because he's a radio junkie, and he, he knows good talent, and he said, you guys were great. So I've tuned you people in before, and I said, what is this? It's great, <laughs> because it's so refreshing and real. And he said, would you like to be a guest on their show? And I said, you betcha, I'd love it. Uh -huh. And so no ulterior motives, but you've got a good manager here, uh, That's right. John well, Hill uh -huh. and Kim Colebrook, and they said, hey, hey let's make a buck off Gary D, and that's the name of the game. <laughs> and that's what it is. Let's make a buck now, Santa Fe, Gary. Okay. we got to follow the law. we got to yes, tell them about that good five Ooh. Santa Fe, because I uh, want a free meal. Now, I'm going to... I want you, this. Okay, and uh, honey, we will. <laughs> and we've got early bird specials from 4 to 6 p.m. daily, 10 early bird dinners, and we're open from uh, 11.30 a.m. until 10 p.m. Uh, restaurant. And it's good to call for reservations if you want to. But remember, every day we have a different menu and we have a different special. On Wednesday, we have our famous chicken paprikash. Ooh, that sounds good. That's what people in the north do to good fried chicken. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh but it is gosh. good. Sunday, we've got Wiener Schnitzel. What, Monday, what do China, people in the north do to that? Uh, they just eat it. And <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Mondays, they got... Chinatown night. Uh, oh, Chinatown don't night. We had to wear night. costumes. And then Juan Lu and his pal. <laughs> and don't forget my night. <laughs> and, and your night, uh, Mexican night, That's on right. Thursday, Pam. That's right. Cajun night for both of you ladies That's on, on Joanne mm -hmm. on Tuesday nights. Friday's the All American night for all of us. We got the greatest fish in all the world. That's our Lake Erie perch. Okay. Brought in from Massachusetts. <laughs> All right. <No. laughs> this one, let's make some more of this okay, money. Okay, the here. miracle worker. For those of you that have run your car around a telephone pole and had Detective Sergeant Doyle give you 17 tickets, <laughs> yank your license Can't like they insurance. did to Randy, <laughs> then you need Brian Sanchuk. And in fact, Randy is a, is a client of Brian Sanchuk at American National Auto Insurance. Mm -hmm. But he's trying to straighten up his ways. Mm -hmm. And so you do the same. So you've got to have insurance. Don't get for more trouble. It's against a lot of you driving around without insurance, really, as they put you in a pokey man and he you go in there i've been in a pokey and these guys say hey dude give me some cigarettes <laughs> and they take all your cigarettes it's terrible okay so don't end up where i've been it's no fun call brian your friend in the east side call brian he refuses no one yes sir on the east side call 461 save on the west side call 749 save brian sanchuk the miracle worker your friend when it comes to your car insurance he'll insure anybody even my son talk radio Thirteen hundred. <laughs> the the overnight promo, Miss Joanne. Oh, am I supposed to be doing this? Yeah. Tomorrow, we got to talk about King. At eleven o'clock, we'd like you to join Larry King as he celebrates his twelve years in broadcasting. Uh, he's going to be joined by David Letterman oh. from the Late Night with David Letterman tonight at eleven o'clock. After the other side with Pam and Joanne on okay. Talk Radio thirteen hundred W E R E. A very good show we'll have there tomorrow tonight. Hi, oh Dave. Welcome to W E R E Talk Radio. You're on the air. Hey, how are you? Okay. Hey, Gary, it's good to hear you again. Well, thank you. Hey, how's your dock holding up? I uh, lost three sections, but I tied, tied my anchor rope around it so they were all saved. Mm -hmm. But uh, my neighbor's dock went like uh, splinters, like matchsticks. Uh, chunks of ice, a thousand pounds just went. The two barges of, of our great guy that uh, dredges the river went out in the middle of the lake, and they were anchored and tied around a big tree. <laughs> So that's what happens when the river thaws, as it did on New Year's Day. Oh, I see. Tom, welcome to WERE Talk Radio. You're on the air. Hello, Tom. Talk Radio 1300. You're on the air. Tom's not there. What's happening with Tom? Tom, Tom, Tom. Somebody give me Tom. I'm here. Okay, Tom. I'm sorry, honey. No problem. This has been an incredible night. Uh, historic. Uh, <laughs> Pam and Joanne and Gary D. <laughs> Really, uh, the, uh, Pam and Joanne just sort of like coming out, uh, checking out on Sundays. You know, I sort of disagree with some of your views, but the, uh, the other hand, uh, you're real entertaining, and it's been it's been incredible. And then getting Gary, I mean, whoa, this has been a historic night. Yes, like, yes, know. yes. We're yes. glad well, that you, you like it, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks Appreciate for it. Thanks for it's following. what real radio can do. Yes, yes. And, and where are you people involved in a local way here in Cleveland to solve local problems?
Oh, oh come my on. goodness, Let's Gary. go into the 90s. Let's go into the 90s. You're a child. You're still acting as a well, child. Well, I can't hear you. Yet. <laughs> so we <laughs> <laughs> Gary used to be a child, we but get rid I've of grown. <laughs> That's right. Hi, oh, yeah, child. I'll tell you why I've Wait, grown. Okay. You know, it took a 40-page indictment. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hang it in, hang it in. What's going on? All right. Long time no here, man. Yeah. Hey, you, you're a fake, you're a phony, you're not real. Next call. <laughs> That's right. Hi, old Dan. We got him, Gary. He was yeah, talking right. to the air. Hi, old there, Dan. How well, you doing? Okay. How you doing? Oops, sorry, Dan. I didn't mean to. <laughs> See, we got hot fingers here. Dan, you can call oh, back. I Listen. love it, boy. I mean, they're gone. <laughs> we got hot fingers. We send them out in space like rockets. It's like, it's like now, if Edgewater had, Park. Joe, if I had <laughs> you, I would be in trouble I am today. <laughs> no, if no. I had you at the switchboard. We call them no, hot no. fingers, Joe. Yeah, no, no. They're a bunch care. of dummies that didn't know when to hit it. No, no, no. We send them oh, out like 4th right. of July. Like 4th right. of July. Uh, you girls rockets. are quick. Your reaction. And that's pow. Edgewater Park. Really? We get them out of here. I'm impressed. Gary. I'm impressed. Well, you know, I am impressed that you're impressed because if we have been impressed the best, then now that is true. Uh, you know, something sometimes, to be impressed about. You know, you can go to a college, you can go to radio <laughs> school and communications and study this and that and the other, and it won't make you a broadcaster. Okay, and, I see. And you ladies come in off the street, I assume. Oh, yes, that's what we came in off the street. Uh, uh, we were homeless. Uh, which corner were you? <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. I, uh, but Gary! The natural talent that you have. And only in America, That's right. where, uh, you two young America. ladies can be on a, a major market radio station mm -hmm. and, and, and have the American dream come true for you. Yes. And, and that's what I'm for. I'm for local stations having local talent with local issues and local problems to solve. And you don't do that. With Rush Limbaugh, What's Rush, uh, he, Rush? Yeah. Rush is great. He's, uh -huh. he's more talented Rush. than I am. I'm jealous of Rush. He's got a big. He's, uh, he doesn't have to work another day in his life. But, <laughs> and they, I do. Even and they I cut do. him tomorrow. Really, really, <laughs> exactly. But uh, you know, I think the FCC should look at syndication. Uh -huh. Is that truly carrying on the First Amendment? And are we broadcasting in local interest, convenience, and necessity is by that? carrying satellite programs out of New York and L.A. for Cleveland? I, Gary D, say no. No, I say no. no. I say no and I say the FCC should be investigated. The FCC, investigate the FCC. Yes. <laughs> and, the lawyers, <laughs> and, and the lawyers that uh, <laughs> that turned in my original complaint, make sure you put this one, this tape of the file. And my good friend who I was talking to today, uh, what was his We got name? a thousand calls. Gary, you Roger, got Roger Hol Holberg, How, listen, Gary a lawyer with the FCC. He is promoting, he is, no. he is plugging everybody. Eh, everybody. Well, whatever. I just everybody. want, I just want on, justice. Gary. I just These want justice. These people have waited so long to hear from you. Let's That's go. Right. Five, seven, eight, go. 1300. Hi, Seymour. Welcome to WERE Talk Radio. Uh, good evening. To Hi, Seymour. How you doing? Long time no hear from. I know. Uh, let me tell you something about Gary D. Okay. Um... On a serious note, that could be sabotage. Sav oh, you think Gary D's here in order? You think Gary D is not being truthful with us? No, I'm saying Gary D is sitting where he's sitting because of his callers. The uh -huh. kind of callers Gary D attracted. Okay. When you get uh, our ah ya 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 ya, right? That becomes. Uninteresting after. Well, you know he's grown. Well, now what is going on, Gary? Our callers are protecting us. Uh, yeah, absolutely, you've got good callers. Well, what happened? And then, like I said earlier, I answered this man's question. I would have three excellent producers uh -huh. with you, Joy, and I just need you. <laughs> yes, Joy, <laughs> yeah, I spit them out like like a rocket. <laughs> but uh, uh, you know, and, and I, I'd like to uh, not comment any further. But the caller is absolutely right, All and right. it's a good, uh, correct criticism, obviously, sir. I will take and learn from you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Seymour. And grow. Thomas, welcome to WERA Talk Radio. You're on the air. i got a couple of questions. Uh, first of all, whose coffee cup is Gary drinking out of uh, Merle or Joel's? And <laughs> Mercy. <laughs> My goodness. And, uh, if a light sleeper sleeps with a light on, what's a hard sleeper? Oh, but Gary, <laughs> these people. Well, they've got to, you know, right on the bathroom ah. wall. <laughs> They belong in Lakewood. Yeah. <laughs> in Lakewood? Not where they guy. have their bathroom stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that wasn't. Yeah, where was you that are going? criticizing the wrong community. That was Fairview Park. Fairview Park. Fairview Park, okay. Fairview Park where mm -hmm. they had the, uh, the things going on in the bathrooms. Hi, old Dan. Welcome to WERE Talk Jackson, Radio. You're on the air. Thank you. How you doing, Gary? Just fine, sir. Thank you. Hey, Gary, I, I got a wood boat. Oh, my goodness. This guy, I left him. <laughs> He's got a wood boat. What do you know about a wood boat, Gary? Everything. <laughs> He's in space. Yeah, yeah. He's another one in space. Well, no, well I, tell him what you can uh, say about a wood uh, boat. Uh, 
Do you hang up on him? Yeah, he's gone. Uh, that's all right. He was a serious caller. Now's not the time, but I am a Lyman lover. Oh, I see. They're an old oh. boat that was made for Lake Erie. Oh, okay. Okay. So it could have been a serious caller. <laughs> <laughs> we, we never know. Around here, we don't know. Huh? Well, do you give advice? You give boat advice? Is that what's happening No, here? we did it all, just like you're doing tonight, you know, for your listeners, your callers, uh, people that love to... You know, family boating is something the whole family can do together. And, yes. Uh, everyone I met at the boat show all had a boat and remembered, uh, grew up uh, in the boat with their kids. Mm. And it's a great family fun for those uh, that could afford a boat. And those that can't will ride on Gary D. Yeah, come May, they <laughs> yeah, can right, go out whatever. on the water. <laughs> That's right. Okay, our number is 578-1300, and we are talking with Gary D. I would just like to thank all of the subscribers. I did come this one appearance on uh, the Pam and Joanne show, and I thank all of you very, very much. And uh, say a final word for my good friend Bob Morris of Bob Morris Pontiac GMC in North Ridgeville. If you get in and buy a newer used car or truck, you get a free trip on a Princess Cruise line. This is first class to Disneyland in the Bahamas. It includes everything, airfare, hotel, rental car, tickets to Disney. Food on the ship, three days in Disney, four in the Bahamas. Bob Morris has the most GMC trucks in stock, at least 125 at all times. GMC trucks are rated number one in customer satisfaction, including the imports. By American. Buy from Bob Morris, and he's the largest Grand Am dealer in north, uh, northeastern Ohio. Five used car lots, all priced to sell in North Ridgeville. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Like that, Gary? They <laughs> call her the Whistler. Dude, yes, that is yes. Nice. Yeah, that's that's, that's what we nice. play for our, our listeners as we get to the 11 o'clock hour. This is a long shift. I don't know how you did four hours, yeah. but doing from 8 to 11 is quite a uh, long time for us to do. So, yeah, What are you ladies going to talk about tomorrow? Well, you know, tomorrow the president speaks. And so what we're going to do is that we will introduce the president. Bush has called us and asked Pam, and he heard about the show, and he is asked. So we're going to have Gary D. on Tuesday, and on Thursday we have George Bush as a guest on our show. Nick tomorrow from from Mercy. nine. That's right. I'm George, I'm George Bush. And then we'll do the Pam and Joanne <laughs> analysis. Well, see what happens afterwards. is that George Bush is going to be on between nine and eleven, giving mm -hmm. his State of the Union address, and That's then right. you're going to have the Democrats come on and give their uh, response, mm -hmm. and then you'll have the Pam and Joanne response at mm -hmm. ten o'clock. So that's, that's I'll be that's I'll exactly be to the president's speech. So that's what that that kind of rounds off everything. And then on Thursday we have a crunch game, and on Friday we, we have, have a crunch, crunch game. game. Right. So we. We are going to really have a, a week of celebrities in that regard. Well, I want to thank you, ladies, very, very much for oh, having me as a guest. Gary, on your I have it's been admired a lot of fun. you for so long, and I guess I've sat here in awe, and and it's been <laughs> very. Uh, <laughs> well, I sit here in awe of you, Joanne, and of you, Pam, because uh, you have a great gift. Well, it's and we a... all we all have gifts. Uh -huh. and, and, and we just might say in closing. It's our responsibility to use our gifts, yeah. no matter what they are, and to do it to the best of their ability. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what I teach all my kids and what I'm trying to do myself. Well, yeah. you know, we have, when, when they first told us, and I'm still a little suspicious about this no, show, no, with, all, but that's all, you know, with all the ads and everything that you, you brought, ladies, I'm suspicious you ladies, of this. You ladies are irreplaceable. Well, that, I, you know, no, no owner feels that. <laughs> <laughs> no owner ever feels <laughs> that you are irreplaceable. They may say, we may not have what we want, but we can get rid of what we had. <laughs> they, they, always, they always feel like that, so we well, never you know, look upon it as that. To be quite honest. You know, I worked hard. I made a lot of money. I, like, I made a lot of money here at this station. Uh -huh. I made a lot of money uh, with Norm and Wayne and, and Washington. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In fact, uh, let's recall that was a million-dollar contract, Washington, D.C., for uh, uh, Mr. Marion Barry. <laughs> <laughs> now, a reporter told me, hey, that was in the 80s, 83. The man, uh, we knew then he was on alcohol and drugs and was a womanizer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, of course, I got on the air. And, <laughs> and you, you said, said the wrong thing. You right. said exactly those words. It, huh? it, and, 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 uh, but, yeah, you know, uh, but, this but you know, if we can't tell the truth on the air, we're, we're uh, I know, I know. You know we it, say that every day. But that's what we do. Every we, day, truth, justice, truth, in justice in the American way. American that's American what you way. get on the other side with Pam and Joanne. And somehow this seems to be a fair thing that we are here in the presence of the great Gary D. I think that has to say something about our future. Well, in I, this I just business. want to say this: I I do have my pension fund. I was going <laughs> to retire at 55, which I'm now. Now the law I got to go to 59 and a half. I see. So I want Pam and Joanne. I'll be honest. I got to do something for four and a half years out. Okay. <laughs> no. I thank everybody. We hope. We 
we put a smile on your face and a thought on in your mind. I'm Joanne. I'm Pam. And we, and we, and you're we, Gary. Have, we have Gary. I'm the student. And in the name of the great Bobby Brown, I am out of here. We'll I see you guys away. tomorrow. Some guests are heard on WERE in exchange for promotional consideration, and many WERE programs are paid for by the producer. Opinions and advice given on WERE.